Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your new Pixel 7 Pro. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go through the entire setup process with the new Pixel 7 Pro. Now, if you haven't started your phone yet, turn it on by pressing and holding on that side button right there. That way you'll be brought to this page. And when you're here, basically what you're gonna do is choose your language. It should be set up by default. And then you can tap get started. At this point, it's prompting us to put in our SIM card or download a SIM instead. I have a video right here you can watch that'll show you how to install the physical SIM card if you don't know how. Otherwise, pop in that SIM card and move on to the next page. Now we can connect to a Wi-Fi network here. So you're just going to select your network, enter in your password, and then tap connect. And during these steps, whenever it's loading, you don't wanna turn off the device or unplug it if you have it plugged to a charger. Just leave it and let it do its thing. This says here it's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to speed it up for you, but I'll let you know how long it took. All right, so that took about 30 seconds, and now it's going to ask you if you wanna copy apps and data so you can choose to transfer your data, photos, contacts, all that stuff from a Google account, or you can tap don't copy. Now for this, you can tap next. Now if you choose to use an older device, it's gonna take you to this page here where it's going to say that you need that device, so bring it close by here and then tap next. And now from here, you can use a cable that fits your old device. This is usually the cable that you got for charging, or you can tap no cable here, and then it's going to offer you another option here. You can tap continue to do that. If you have the cable, tap next, and you can insert the old cable into your device. So if you had an iPhone, you would just put the one end of the USB-C cable at the bottom, and then the other end into your iPhone. Tap next, it's telling you to do that. And then you can transfer all your data. Now I'm gonna go back because we're gonna do this fresh, but if you wanna download it or download everything from your previous device over to this one, follow those steps and then continue on. And while it's transferring, don't turn anything off. So I'm gonna tap don't copy for now. And it's going to check info once again. That took about 10 seconds. And now we're going to sign in with our Google account. If you don't have one, you can create one down here. We have one here, so I'm just going to enter in the email address and then tap next. Enter the password for your email and once again, tap next. From here, it's just giving you some information that you can add this phone's number to your account to use across Google services and so on. Scroll down a little more and read through all this information. You can choose to skip this step. You also have more options here. You can say, yes, I'm in. Okay, and it'll take you to a page like this. From here, you're going to then go through the terms of service. You can tap, I agree to add the account. And now this page, we're gonna configure the Google services associated with our account. So we'll just scroll down a little bit. And the first one is to use location. This is on. We can turn it off if we don't want our location and apps to use our location. We're gonna leave that on for now. Allow scanning here is to allow the apps and services to scan for Wi-Fi networks and nearby devices at any time, even when Wi-Fi or Bluetooth is off. You can leave this on if you want or turn it off. You can always change these things later on in settings. You have send, usage, and diagnostic data. I'm gonna say no to that. I don't wanna send my information out. And then we're gonna tap on more. Now we have install updates and apps, and by continuing, you're going to agree that this device may also automatically download and install these updates and apps from Google. Your carrier and your device manufacturer, just read through this and accept. Now you have the choice here to back up your device if you want. You do get free 15 gigabytes of storage on your Google account. I'm not going to do this right now, so I'm gonna say not now. It's up to you if you'd like to. Now from here, it's your limited warranty, so the country of purchase. If you'd like to view the warranty information, just tap on the country and it'll take you to the warranty page. You can read through that, otherwise tap next. And now you're gonna select a pin, which is your passcode to log into this phone. We'll set up face unlock and the fingerprint scanner as well with this, but we're just gonna tap for now. We'll just choose all zeros just for this example. Now from here, it's giving us information to set up fingerprint unlock and how it works. You can use your fingerprint to unlock right under the screen. So you'd basically be putting your finger on the screen like that and it would unlock it for you. Scroll down a little bit more, you'll get more information, what it's going to do for you. Read through all that and then tap I agree if you'd like. 
At this point here, we can choose to do it later or we can set it up right now. And basically we're just gonna put our finger in this section of the screen when we're prompted. So we'll tap start. So we'll hold our fingerprint on the screen here, lift, keep doing it. You wanna keep kind of lifting when you feel the vibrations. And we're just gonna keep doing this and continuously touch. Now the top, the left side, and you'll feel the vibrations as you're doing this. And now the right side to finish this off. And that's it. Now our fingerprint has been added. We can use that to unlock our phone and various other things. We'll tap next. Now face unlock, this will allow us to unlock the phone as well using the facial recognition software built into this phone and the front facing camera. So we'll scroll down. You can read more about it all and then tap I agree. And now it's going to ask us to set this up. Now it's gonna be a little bit hard for me with the camera, but I'll do my best here. So we're gonna hold the camera up like this. We're gonna tap start. And I'm gonna to try to get my face in here. I've got my hat on too, so we'll kind of see how this will work with my hat. And it worked just fine. So you're just gonna kind of rotate your head through that process. Once it's finished here, you tap done. Now at this point, it's giving us an option here if we wanna continue this setup or leave and get a reminder to do it later. We're gonna continue this, you might as well at this point. Next is Hey Google here, so it's going to set that up if you like it as well. So we'll just scroll down a little more and it's giving us more information. We'll tap I agree. And then here we'll just teach our assistant our voice. Scroll down again to get all of the instructions here and what it'll do. We'll tap agree again. And you just wanna repeat what's being said there. Okay Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Okay, Google, remind me to water my plants every Monday. Hey, Google, make a call. Hey, Google, set a timer for five minutes. And that's it. We have our Google Assistant set up here. Now we can access your Assistant without unlocking your device. You can choose to allow this. You always have the opportunity to skip here and change this in your settings as well. But we're just gonna tap Agree. Now we can use Google Pay. I'm not gonna set this up because there's just too much personal information, but you can add your credit cards and other cards to your Google Pay account so you can pay right with your phone. And we're just gonna say skip for now, just like I said, too much personal information there. And here we have a few more things that we can set up or we can just bypass them, tap no thanks and set them up later, but we might as well go through them here. So if you wanna get instant translations, if you're going somewhere, you can turn that on. You have set up always on display. That's something we'll do here. So if we tap on that, the display will always stay on. And that's a cool feature to have. I kinda of like it with my other devices. So I'm gonna make sure that I turn that on here. That way I have my time and other options on my always on display. So when I lock my phone, I'll still be able to see the time and things like that. We have the change how text is displayed option here. So if text is not the way you want it, maybe you need a larger font size, you can do that right here. And you can see right on screen the example of how it's going to look. I'm going to leave it uh, where it was by default right there. We have the display size as well. So if you want to make things bigger like apps as well, you can do so. And it'll change on screen for you as well. You can bold your text, turn on high contrast text, totally up to you. And if you make a mistake, just reset. Once you're done here though, you can just tap on the little back button here. And now we've set that up as well. We can review additional apps if you want, identify music around you if you want, control info on the lock screen. That's where that always on display is kind of gonna help you as well. So you're gonna show all notification content, show sensitive content only when unlocked. Don't show notifications at all. So you'll kind of go through that and see which one you like best. We're gonna leave it as is. Add another email account if you'd like, and then you can change your wallpaper right here. And this is the default that's set with my particular uh, Pixel 7 Pro with that kind of background. If we tap change wallpaper, you have a whole bunch of options to choose from and customize it as well. Like I said, you'll be able to do and change all of this stuff from your settings later. And I'll be doing a whole bunch of videos to show you how to do all of those things with the Pixel 7 Pro. So we'll just say done for now. And if you'd like to receive tips and tricks in your inbox, you can say, yes, I'm in. I'm gonna say no thanks, cause I don't want any more emails. From here, it's gonna give us a quick tutorial on the gestures. We'll just do this. You can skip it if you'd like. So we'll just tap try it. And now it's gonna say swipe to go home. So if you're completely new to these kind of devices, 
you're just going to swipe up and it'll exit applications and take you back to your home screen. Now, if you want to switch apps, you can switch between apps by swiping up from the bottom and then it'll bring up sort of a multitask. So you can switch between your apps and then you can go across each one. We're done though for now. Pretty simple stuff and we're all set here. We'll swipe up to go home and this is our new Pixel 7 Pro, our home screen. And now we can start using the phone to make calls, messages, play around with our backgrounds, take photos. And I'll be going through everything you can pretty much do with this new Pixel 7 Pro. So if you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the description to the full playlist. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to help you out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.